It was Christmas Eve, babe In the drunk tank An old man said to me Won't see another one And then he sang a song The rare old mountain dew I turned my face away and dreamed about you got on a lucky one came in 18 to 1 I've got a feeling this year's for me and you so happy Christmas I love you baby I can see a better time when all our dreams come true. They've got cars, big as bars, they've got rivers of gold. When the wind blows right through you, it's no place for you. When he first took my hand on a cold Christmas Eve He promised me Broadway was waiting for me He was handsome, you're pretty, queen of New York City When the band finished playing, they howled up for more Sinatra was swinging, all the drums they were singing We kissed on a corner and danced through the night The boys in the NYPD choir were singing Galway Bay And the bells were ringing out for Christmas Day Junk. And they're almost dead like a trip in that chair. Just don't your maggot, you cheap lousy blackguard. Happy Christmas, you're our son. Great God, it's our last. The boys in the NYPD choir were singing Galway Bay. And the bells were ringing out for Christmas Day. So can anyone, kid. You took my dreams from me when I first found you. I kept them with me, babe. I put them with my own. Can't make it all alone. I built my dreams around you. The boys in the NYPD choirs were singing Galway Bay. Christmas Day. What the hell's going on here? I think we turned the lights off. Oh, thanks for that, Barbie. Thank God we have you and your brains to guide us. I meant, why have they turned the lights out? Maybe. Afraid to save electricity? Can anyone else hear her, or am I the only one lucky enough? Okay, let's just breathe and take a moment. The backup generator usually kicks in at train stations right about. Oh my god, there's no signal! God, I can't be late! I mean, the news said there was going to be a snowstorm this evening. I just hoped I'd get away from here first. Guess a blizzard must have tossed a tree on a power line or something. Guys, it's probably just another blackout. It happens a lot when there's like a surge right in the auxiliary circuit boards and... Or, you know, we could just sit it and wait it out. Oh my god, I can't stand this. How long have we been stuck here? 
Uh, it's been 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Are you kidding me? Oh my God, I have to get home tonight. Would you <laughs> shut up? I'm trying to read. studying biochemistry and, you know, the relationship between uh, mammalian species and their ecosystems, which <laughs> happens to be quite, quite ironic, actually. Well, I'm Eve. I'm currently a professional in public relations, specializing in one-to-one -one consultations. Yeah, another way of saying she's a lady of the night. Excuse you? I accompany clients to special events. How dare you assume that of me? Hi, I'm Gabriella. My friends call me Gabby, so you... Call me Gabrielle, and I'm an event planner. <laughs> yeah, well, my name's Nicholas Grinch, and unlike the rest of you, I have a real job. I'm a banker working his way up to the top floor. <laughs> Did you just say your name is Grinch? How fitting. Oh my god, like a green Scrooge. <laughs> Are you really that stupid? Mr. Grinch, you really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. You're a vile one. Mr. Grinch, your heart's an empty hole. Your brain is full of spiders. You've got garlic in your soul, Mr. Grinch. I wouldn't touch you if I had a 39 and a half foot pole. You're a file one, Mr. Grinch. You've got termites in your smile. You have all the tender sweetness of a seasick crocodile, Mr. Grinch. Uh, given the choice between the two of you, I think I'd take the seasick crocodile. You're a foul one, Mr. Grinch. You're a nasty, nasty skunk. Your heart is full of unwashed socks. Your soul is full of gunk, Mr. Grinch. The three words that best describe you, Mr. Grinch, are as follows, and I quote... <laughs> Stink, stank, stunk. <laughs> That's for sure. He does this really cute thing where we're together and things are going really well and he's all like, oh my god, you're amazing, I love you. And then a few days later, I'm unbearable and he leaves. And obviously, I'm devastated and so lost.
but I won't get in the mood. I'm avoiding every mistletoe until I know it's true love that he thinks of. So next Christmas, I'm not alone, boy. Santa, tell me if you're really there. Don't make me fall in love again if he won't be here next year. Santa, tell me if he really cares Cause I can give it all away If he won't be here next year I've been down this road before Fell in love on Christmas night But on New Year's Day I woke up and he wasn't by my side Now I need someone to hold Be my fire in the cold But it's hard to tell if this is just a fling that he thinks of so next Christmas I'm not alone boy Santa tell me if you're really there don't make me fall in love again if he won't be here next year Santa tell me if he really cares cause I can't give it all away if he won't be here next year But say me like a oh, oh, oh. on the 25th by the fireplace. Oh, 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 oh. but I don't want a new broken heart this year. I've got to be smart. Oh, oh Santa, 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 if you won't be, Santa, if you won't be. Yeah, I can see why you're still with him, Princess. I'm with him because I love him, and he needs me. Oh, right, yeah, because that's why he keeps leaving me. It's called being loyal. I'm always there waiting for him. Do you hear what you just said? I have been there, trust me. One minute you put all your hopes and dreams into them, waste your time waiting on them. I have been there, trust me. you were someone to rely on me. I guess 
Why? What would you be going home to? Hey, what is your deal, man? I don't know her. It's okay, Joe. Thanks. <laughs> you know, I have been dealing with versions of you my entire life. You don't know me at all. You know nothing about me. I'm a single mother of two. I don't know what you thought you saw earlier, but it wasn't that. I work for an escort agency. I accompany clients to events to pay my way through college. It is strictly professional and nothing ever happens. I didn't do this life out of choice. My boyfriend got me pregnant in college. I dropped out to raise Beth and two years later, Faith came along. We were just perfect. We were happy. I, I had no regrets dropping out. And we were fine because David finished his course and yes, things were kind of tight money wise, but we got by. And then one morning I woke up and he was gone. No note, no explanation. He just left me there. I started to panic, of course. I contacted his brother and all he could tell me was that he wasn't happy anymore. So he had moved to LA with his new girlfriend, who was of course his secretary. He left me with two of the most beautiful girls you could ever imagine. So it's him I feel sorry for. So last year, I decided to go back to college, finish my degree, and give them the best life that I can give them. A friend of mine introduced me to this agency, and it's an easy way to make cash through college. I'm sorry. I I didn't mean to be such a jerk. I wasn't always like this. You know, I get it. I know everybody has their troubles, but nobody would be happy working in the bank, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I used to be happy, you know? I used to sit at home with mom and pops and dream about putting enough money together to get us out of that hellhole. All three of us. I grew up in a bad part of town. But I was a bright kid and I went to school. I went on to college and studied economics. But I always had a bit of an interest in the arts, you know? I just knew that there was never going to be any money down that road for a kid like me. So I stuck with the sciences so I could get a real job. Well, the interest never went away, and at college I joined the Choral Society, where I met my wife. You? I'm sorry, wait. You're married? I was married. We finished college and got a little place of our own. An apartment down in Queens. It wasn't much, but it was ours, you know? And I got a job at a bank and Mary was teaching piano from home. She said, just because you're working in a bank, you can't lose that artistic flair. 
You don't want to end up like those other bankers just living to work. And she was right. God, that was just the most awful prospect. So we joined a choral society. A couple of months in, I was asked to step in as choir director. The old guy that was doing it had to get surgery on his back and just wasn't up for it anymore. Six months after that, and I was busier with the choral society than I ever was at the bank. Which is probably why I didn't notice Mary having a fling with Decca. Or Chris. Or Susan. Yeah, well, she left me eventually. Moved in with one of the guys from the Coral Society, so I quit, hands down. Threw myself back into my work. Thought if I could just make enough money, I'd get Mom and Dad out of that hellhole like I always promised I would. Well, it's been a few years since then, and I've barely made enough money to scrape by. And a wife, too embarrassed to turn to my folks for help. And all the guys at work want to do is get hammered after work to forget about their job. Well, I can't say I blame them. Look, I'm sorry, kid. I think you just remind me of when I was young, full of joy and life. Now I'm just a bitter old man. Well, you don't have to say sorry to me. I'm sorry for annoying you. I'm used to being the person with the sorrying to do. Cole certainly never is. He's always telling me to stop talking because I talk too much and to change my job because it isn't classy enough. He made me change my major from music to hospitality and management. Yeah, I was a musician too. I used to play piano with college band. But Cole was totally right. Now I have my business. Stuff to clients to attend to. Look, I know you think it's not right the way he treats me, but I've been down this road before and it's just super duper easier to do what he says and keep him happy. I don't think I could handle it. You seem to be doing pretty fine without him tonight. I really am, aren't I? God, I really do miss music. It takes years and years of practice, you know. My friends and I used to be in a band called Do They. We were a cover band. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, you got that one. I was worried it might be flat. <laughs> but seriously, guys, thank you for tonight. It really has given me a lot to think about. What about you, kid? What's your story? Who are you going home to? Well, um, possibly no one. See, I, I used to be with someone, but um, I got scared of the commitment, so I kind of just, you know, left. Yeah, everything was going so well. Felt like I had everything until I didn't anymore. A year ago, when I saw Peter for the first time in that stupid science-themed cafe, you know, where in a world full of matter, you matter the most, and uh, I thought that if I had just sat there, looking all cool and mysterious while the captain of the football team walked in. You know, like I wasn't even interested, even though I was <laughs> so interested that, I don't know, maybe he would see something in me. Well, that or shove me in his locker with my shoes tied together and the answers to his math homework, but um, he did see something in me. So uh, a couple months later, we are at a house party, or outside of one. I'm just staring at his brown eyes, and I think to myself, this is it. This is what love feels like, and, you know, everyone thinks that they, they want the quarterback until he throws his varsity jacket over you, looks in your face, and says, move in with me. So, I know at least 14 cheerleaders were killed for this one, but I, I just, I just panicked, and, um, you know, it's raining, and uh, I'm standing there, and, uh, it's coming on. Christmas, they're cutting down trees, putting up reindeer, singing songs of joy and peace. So I wish I had a river I could skate away on. But it don't snow here, it stays pretty green. I'm gonna make a lot of money, then I'm gonna quit this crazy scene. No, oh, I wish I had a river I could skate away on. Oh, I wish I had a river so long I would teach my feet to fly. Oh, I wish I had a river 
I could skate away on. I made my baby cry. And he tried hard to help me. You know, he put me at ease. And he loved me so naughty, made me weak in the knees. Oh, I wish I had a river I could skate away on. But I'm so hard to handle. I mean, I'm selfish and I'm sad. Now I've gone and lost the best baby that I ever had. Oh, I wish I had a river. I could skate away on And oh, I wish I had a river so long I would teach my feet to fly I could skate away on I made my baby say goodbye It's coming on Christmas They're cutting down trees Putting up reindeer, singing songs of joy and peace. So oh, I wish I had a river I could skate away on. God, I could never do that to Cole. Although one time, in the middle of a snowstorm, he did pack all his things and threatened to leave me forever. I had to beg him to leave me. I'm to be like cold, so I literally packed all my things away and left forever. What did you guys say to them? I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. I've got to go away. But baby, it's cold outside. But this evening has been I was hoping you'd so stay very in. nice. I'll hold your hands. They're just like My ice. My mother will start to worry. Cole, what's your My hurry? My father will be pacing the just floor. Just listen to the fireplace it's roar. It's a really I'd better scurry. Beautiful, please don't hurry. Maybe just a half a drink I'll more. I'll put some records on while I the pour. The neighbors might think. But baby, it's bad out there. Say, what's in this drink? Not a cap to be had out there. I wish I knew how to like break now. this bed. I'll take your hat. Your hair looks so I well. ought to say no, no, no. Mind sir. if I move in closer? At least I'm gonna say that I try. What's the sense of hurting my pride? I really can't stay. Baby, don't go out. Baby, Baby it's, it's cold, cold outside. outside. I simply must go. But baby, it's cold outside. The answer is no. Baby, it's cold outside. The welcome has been I was you'd stay so in. nice and warm. Look out the window at that storm. My sister will be suspicious. Gosh, your lips look delicious. My brother will be there at the door. Like waves upon a tropical shore. Friends are vicious. Gosh, your lips are delicious. Maybe just a cigarette more. Never such a blizzard before. I gotta get home. Maybe you freeze out there. Say, lend me your coat. Cole, it's up to your knees out there. You've really been great. I thrill when you touch your But don't you see? How can you do this thing to me? Think of my lifelong sorrow. At least sorrow. there will be plenty of If this is how we said goodbye, I really can't stay. Baby, don't go out. Baby, Baby it's, it's cold. cold. Baby, it's, it's cold, cold outside. outside. Oh. 
So now, I have to get back. But anyways, Hope, you've been really quiet about where you come from. Yeah, well, things seem to sound really super great with you. But since we're all here, and it's Christmas, and time for sharing, maybe it wouldn't hurt for you to tell us how you feel. Yeah, I would love to hear your story. Okay, then. It was the 17th of June, 1999. Oh, God, by the time she's done, it'll be New Year's Eve. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe you could just fast forward a little bit. They died. Oh, come on, back it up. <laughs> oh, the shore burn. Okay, catch you. Well, my name is Hope. I'm 21. Um, my parents are all no longer in this form of life. And, um, oh, I was born in the countryside, surrounded by mountains and trees. Flowers, <sighs> mushrooms. And there it is. <laughs> oh, and I do have one sister who I really hate because she abandoned me for some guy. Well, that was her husband, I guess. Oh, get this. She had this little girl growing inside of her like five years ago, so I've been living in the city ever since it. She. She came along. <laughs> Claire does send me letters every single month, though. Where are you? When are you coming home? Are you safe? Like, seriously, Claire, I literally think you've destroyed half the rainforest with the amount of paper you used. So, I've been living in the city ever since, surrounded by big buildings and, um, like, trains and, um, um, honestly, I don't know why I'm living here anymore. It's not my vibe, it's, it's not the adventure I have planned. I mean, did you guys know rent was so much money? <laughs> and that you can't just chain yourself to any old tree in Central Park. Yeah, you get fined for that kind of stuff. You've been warned. I would like to leave this city, this old town don't smell too pretty and I can feel the warning signs running around my mind and if I could leave this island I'd book myself into a soul asylum and I can feel the warning signs running around my mind so here Still scratching around in the same old hole. My body feels young, but my mind is pretty old. So, what do you say? You can't give me the dreams that are mine anyway. You're half the world away. You're half the world away. And if I could leave this planet, you know I'd stay, but I just can't stand it. And I can feel the warning signs running around my mind. And if I could leave this spirit, I'd find me a hole and well, I'd live in it. Cause I can feel the warning signs running So here I go, I'm still scratching around in the same old hole. My body feels young, but my mind is pretty old. So what do you say? You can't give me the dreams that are mine anyway. You're half the world away. You're half
actually. Don't you miss them? What are you doing for Christmas Day? I mean, you know, just chilling. Well, you should go and see them. Yeah. As soon as this place opens up again, you need to get in the next train out of here. Go and start a new adventure. It would be the best Christmas present ever, not just for you, but for your sister, too. I mean, it really sounds like she wants to reach out to you. Okay. Okay. You guys are right. The past is the past, and Christmas is about forgiveness, right? Forgiveness? <laughs> Joe, forgiveness for everyone. Yeah, I don't know if I deserve forgiveness after what I did. Oh, of course you do. Yeah, you're still young, kid. Trust me, we all make mistakes when we're your age. Life's about owning up to those mistakes and trying to make amends, you know? You don't want to end up bitter and alone like me, do you? I guess. It's just hard, you know? Yeah, well, I guess nobody said life was gonna be easy. So, what are you gonna do? Just run away from your problems? Well, what about you? Me? Yeah, are you gonna spend Christmas with this cold? Of course I am. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know, maybe because he's a misogynistic bigot? Uh. What? I know big words too. <laughs> and I know when someone needs help and oh, the lamb needs help. Where are you from anyways? Maybe one of us could travel with you. Woodstock. <gasps> Shut up! That's where my sister lives! <laughs> really? <laughs> Woodstock, and we're gonna stay with my sister. Oh my god, yay! But Cole, he probably won't even notice you're gone by the sounds of him. And what about you, Eve? You just spend Christmas with your daughters? Oh, no, not just them. We usually spend a few days with my parents. <laughs> They're with them now, actually. It sounds nice. And you? Oh, I just spend Christmas at home, you know? Cook a microwave dinner and watch the football on TV. Saints versus Vikings this year. Guess I could call in and see them for a bit. After the football, of course. Oh, screw the football! Who wants to watch a bunch of guys run around getting brain damage anyway? Catch up with them, fill them in your life and everything that's been going on. It is Christmas, for God's sake! You know what? You're right. It is Christmas. In fact, <laughs> it's 12.02. It's Christmas Day. So come on, everybody up. Christmas should be filled with music, right? You, you said you're a musician, right? Well, why don't we see what we can do? Okay, well, what do we sing first? Well, what do you know? I don't no. know. No, no. Don't please, please, no. Please, no. Please, no. I always used to love Santa Baby. Santa Baby, slip a sable under the tree oh. for me. God, that is an image I will never get out of my head. Well, thank you. Yeah, maybe we should do I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. Oh, or I, I wish it could be Christmas every day. Yeah. Oh, Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells ring and jingle bells ring. Rock it around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Mistletoe hung where you can see every couple tries to stop. Frosty the snowman was a happy, jolly soul With a corn cob pipe and a button nose And two eye train out of snow but Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer Had a very shiny nose And if you ever saw him You would even say it glows So here it is Merry Christmas Everybody's having fun Look to the future now, it's only just begun. Oh wait, I have it. When me and my sister were younger, we used to play around with my dad's old records, and there was a lovely Judy Garland cover of Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. The original, I believe. Oh, that is such a beautiful song. I love that song. It feels so warm inside. Well, why don't we give it a go? <laughs> Yourself a merry little Christmas. 
Let your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the We just want to say a huge thank you for everyone that tuned in. Um, we just want to really say that we know Christmas is a really, really hard time for everyone, and especially this year when people can't be together. So um, we have some helplines here. Please, please use them if you need to. Um, this is MIND, 0300-123-3393. Advice and support to empower anyone experiencing a mental health problem. Papyrus are a helpline in order to prevent young suicides. They're a suicide prevention charity who provides support and education to prevent the number of young suicides and equip people to recognize and respond to suicidal behavior. Their number is 0800 068 4141. Um, Women's Aid and Refuge National Domestic Abuse Helpline provides high quality service and protection to women and children who have experienced violence and pretend, prevents future violence through education, training and awareness and they can be reached on 0808 2000 247. And for confidential 24-7 support for people who are experiencing distress or despair call Lifeline at 0808-808-8000. Thank you so much to everybody for watching. Please stay safe out there and... Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. <laughs>